It's been a few days since Starship's integrated flight test 5, and SpaceX has just released ground footage of the ship's landing. This is the first time since some of the original Starship upper stage flight tests that we have gotten a view of the belly flop, the flip, and the splash down in the ocean. With this footage, we now have a much better idea of the landing accuracy and how the vehicle performed after re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Today, I'll break down the new footage in detail, discuss SpaceX's future plans to catch the upper stage as early as next year, and explore what to expect in the future. The new landing footage. Just a few hours ago, SpaceX shared a short 21-second video that was captured by a buoy camera floating in the Indian Ocean. Along with the clip, SpaceX tweeted, Starship flip maneuver and landing burn on its fifth flight test. Vehicle improvements ensured flaps were protected from high heating, resulting in a controlled entry and high-accuracy splashdown in the targeted area in the Indian Ocean. The footage starts at engine ignition, with Starship still in its belly flop position, lying horizontal in the air. Seconds after ignition, the ship begins to rotate, with the bottom swinging toward the camera before it straightens out and orients itself vertically. From here, it continues its descent toward the ocean. The engines create massive clouds of steam as the thrust hits the water, sending it in every direction. Despite the steam, you can clearly see the engines firing as the ship gets closer and closer to the surface. Once it makes contact with the water, the light from the engines goes out as they're extinguished by the ocean. SpaceX's footage ends there. However, if we combine this video with footage from the overall flight test, we can see a few more seconds of the landing and aftermath. After the light goes out, the view switches to the buoy camera, where we see a small explosion and part of the upper stage floating in the ocean, still on fire. The flames burn for about 20 more seconds before being completely put out. Even with this new footage, it's hard to get a complete picture of what the upper stage is doing during the landing. To get a better sense of it, we can look back at footage from Starship's SN10 high altitude flight test in early 2021. In that test, SpaceX launched only the Starship upper stage with three Raptor engines, aiming to perform a landing burn and a soft touchdown. During the descent, the engines cut off, and the upper stage began to fall in the belly flop position, which helped slow it down by using its body like a large air brake. In the final moments, the engines reignited and the ship swung into an upright position before gently landing. The SN10 test wasn't perfect though, the landing was a bit rough, but in this recent footage from Test 5, we see what looks like a much more refined and controlled landing. The flip happens as planned, and the ship touches down smoothly in about 20 seconds. When we combine this with onboard camera footage, we get a clearer picture of how the landing unfolded. Around an hour into the flight, Starship was wrapping up its re-entry, having passed some of the most intense heat. One of the flaps showed slight burn damage, but the heat shield held up much better than in Flight 4, keeping the flap fully intact. At T plus 1 hour, 2 minutes and 50 seconds, Starship was still coming in at a 45 degree angle, as indicated by the flight data. 40 seconds later, the flight controllers announced that Starship had entered the subsonic belly flop phase, and the flaps moved visibly as the ship's speed decreased rapidly. At T plus 1 hour, 3 minutes, and 30 seconds, Starship was falling at around 730 kilometers per hour and was 15 kilometers high. Over the next 90 seconds, it slowed to 350 kilometers per hour and dropped to just 1 kilometer high, all thanks to the belly flop maneuver. Finally, at T plus 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 23 seconds, the landing burn began. A bright light appeared from the engines, and the ship swung upright and straightened out. The final bit of speed was quickly burned off, 
and onboard footage showed the ocean below before the ship made contact. From engine ignition to splashdown, the total time was about 20 seconds, matching the newly released SpaceX footage. All things considered, it's safe to assume Starship landed exactly where SpaceX intended. A similar situation occurred during Flight 4, when SpaceX released buoy footage of the booster's landing burn and splash down. The company later confirmed that the booster had landed with remarkable precision, and will likely see a similar confirmation for Flight 5's upper stage. The importance of this test. Just days ago, Elon Musk responded to a tweet about catching the booster, saying, hopefully early next year, we will catch the ship too. With it already being mid-October, early next year isn't far off. This suggests that SpaceX is making swift progress on some of their ambitious goals. In theory, catching the ship would be much easier if both launch towers were active, since one of the landing zones would likely be occupied by the booster. Although this is speculative, catching the upper stage will undoubtedly be another major milestone. After launch, the upper stage would orbit Earth multiple times, giving SpaceX time to prepare for re-entry and the catch at the launch site. After watching SpaceX successfully catch the Super Heavy booster, catching the upper stage no longer seems so far-fetched. Upper Stage Improvements In recent months, SpaceX has made significant upgrades to the upper stage, especially its heat shield. Before this latest flight, SpaceX technicians spent over 12,000 hours replacing the entire thermal protection system with next-generation heat shield tiles, installing an ablative backup layer, and adding extra protection around the flap structures. These changes, combined with operational and software updates, ensured a successful re-entry and a smooth splashdown in the Indian Ocean. While this new design was a success, there's still more work to be done. Musk has mentioned that a newer version of Starship will have a forward flap design that improves reliability and makes it easier to manufacture, while also increasing payload capacity. Developing a reliable, reusable heat shield is challenging, as shown by the lengthy turnaround times for the space shuttle between flights. But SpaceX's combination of new materials and the ship's steel construction has shown promise. The ultimate goal is rapid reusability, which would be difficult if the heat shield requires repairs after each flight. Thankfully, SpaceX is making fast progress, and we can expect even more developments in the near future. With this newly released footage of the landing and splashdown, SpaceX is already looking ahead to the next big challenge, catching the ship. We'll have to stay tuned to see how this plays out and how it will affect the space industry. That's all for this video.